There are two types of people in 2024. Type number one, AI is gonna take all of our jobs, it's gonna replace us, we're done. Honestly, I am partly type one. I was just at a conference where Vinod Kosla, he's a genius investor and has been investing for decades. And he was on stage and he was talking about how most of the experts are gonna be replaced by AI. And I started thinking about myself, every creator is kind of an expert. Are we all gonna be replaced? And there's another type of people like, okay, uh, if it's inevitable, how do I survive? And uh, most of me is actually type too. Yes, I have my fears, but I also see how AI is saving me dollars, is saving me time. So in this video, I am going to talk about AI tools that I'm using every single day when I'm working. <laughs> Some of them I use when I'm not working, but most of all, I use them for work and they are making me a much more productive person and they help me make more money and they help me save money. Let's start with the one I actually discovered a few weeks ago and now it's become a big part of my creative process. It is called Gamma App and it helps me create presentations for my YouTube videos and for our classes uh, at LinguaTrip. So basically what it does, it creates presentation based on the outline that you provide. For example, let's generate a presentation. Let's make it 12 cards because I want top 10 idioms in American English with explanation and two examples of how they can be used. And I say generate outline. It generates the outline. I agree with the outline. I choose the style and let's ask it to generate. Now, the thing is, while it generates, I'm gonna tell you something real quick. When I create videos for Lingua Marina, I normally just record them by looking at the camera and then my editor creates overlays. Because when you're teaching something, you need a lot of visual things. And when I say like, this is a common phrase in English, we normally put that phrase on our screen. We normally try to come up with a lot of sentences that people can actually see and read because uh, the channel is for non-native speakers. Now, the editor's job is so much easier now because what they're gonna do, they're just gonna take this presentation, put it on top of my video because I'm gonna base my video on this presentation. And it's just crazy how much time we're already saving on editing. Now, let's, let's look on what it, what it's creating. Top 10 idioms in American English. Explore the most common and colorful idioms. Okay. Uh, of course, it requires some editing. Uh, sometimes, you know, for example, it's raining cats and dogs. I would come up with something different. But of course, you know, you need to review everything that AI comes up with. AI is still hallucinating from time to time. So make sure you actually go through the deck. Okay, break a leg. I don't like the image, by the way. This is... Could be something. Um, and so example one, break a leg, honey. I know you're gonna do great in the play tonight. The director told the actors to break a leg before they took the stage for opening night. Piece of cake, meaning something that is easy or simple to do requiring little effort or skill. Example one, acing the math test with a piece of cake. Straight A student, I like it, I love it. This is beautiful, piece of cake is beautiful. Doesn't need any editing. I like it when the idiom has several meanings that actually creates three different explanations. Really good, a really good Gamma app. So if you're teaching online, this will really, really help you. Thanks to AI, delegating in 2024 has become even more affordable and effective. So basically, if you're starting another income stream, the first thing that you need to build is a website. And this is why I recommend Durable. They are sponsoring this video and it's just an incredible AI tool that can build a website in just 30 seconds. No coding, no design skills required. AI handles all the hard work, but of course you can easily customize everything, add your own pictures, add your own context so that it looks just like you want it to look. And all you need is to answer three simple questions, then just in 30 seconds, the site is ready. It already looks great. All that's left is to choose my brand colors and create a logo, which I can do with Durable's Brand Builder tool. With Durable, anyone can quickly turn their skills into a thriving business. They provide everything you need to drive traffic, find customers, get paid, and automate admin tasks. Use the link in the description under this video to build a website for free. And when you're ready to publish it, use my code MARINA30 to save 30 30% of your first three months on any plan. Now, the next tool that I've been using a lot recently is called Chat PDF. 
as you know, I am helping with some research at Stanford and uh, I've been recently doing uh, some research on articles that talk about time measurement and uh, AI influencers and I needed to do literature review. So basically chat PDF allows you to upload a document. For example, there is um, let's do AI driven influencer marketing or downloading and then we're going to chat PDF. We're uploading it here and now I can chat with my document. It's going to analyze it. Hey, welcome. It actually suggests questions to ask. How does artificial intelligence play a role in shaping the effectiveness of influencer marketing? Let's just ask something. Is it okay to use influencer? Um, is it okay to use AI influencers in marketing? So I'm chatting with the document. The use of uh, AI influencer marketing is a is a growing trend. It's just amazing. So basically you can chat with any research and you also can chat with a contract. For example, as a creator, I get a contract and uh, you know, my salespeople always look through it, but I also want to make sure, you know, uh, companies are not using my content without my explicit uh, consent or companies are not gonna modify this content or whatever. And you can basically ask chat PDF to review those terms for you. Love it, love it. Of course, we have to talk about ChatGPT in this video. But there are two use cases that I wanted to highlight. First of all, is actually my GPTs. So basically, you can create an AI version of yourself. So let me let me explain what's going on. So I just came back from Cannes Film Festival, where I learned that in order to be in the fashion world and get more contracts in the fashion world and get more invites, you have to personally contact brands uh, and chat with them. But sometimes I'm traveling and I just can't answer my emails. So yes, I will have a separate email to contact brands, but when I'm traveling, uh, my assistants are gonna help me, but what they're gonna have here is my own GPT that will have all of the information on the brands I've collabed with in the past. We're gonna just upload my media kit there. Uh, we're gonna upload some emails that I've already sent so that they know that Whenever I'm chatting with a brand, I like to provide some data, like the engagement on my posts or engagement on our previous campaigns. And basically what I'm building here is my personal AI sales manager for me as a creator. And it's gonna speak my language. We're gonna feed it some emails that I've written. So it sounds just like me so that my assistant can replace me from time to time when I can't personally answer my emails. And this is already cloning myself, which sounds a little bit scary, but um, it is but it is what it is. And the new feature that I absolutely love is that I can interact with ChatGPT with voice. Uh, again, uh, we were just in South of France, we were walking this beautiful town where a lot of painters used to live and they used to pay for food with their paintings. So I asked to tell me all of the stories about them and uh, ChatGPT was able to answer in voice, which is kind of cool when you're traveling and you don't want to stop and just type things. My next personal favorite is of course, of course, of course, perplexity. Perplexity, especially the pro version, can do so much for you in terms of research, in terms of topics that it can come up with. Create top five topics for Silicon Valley girl videos. So it analyzed my channel and it says, here are five topics for Silicon Valley girl. Marina Mogilko, it knows who I am. Childhood challenges, life in Silicon Valley, achieving goals, personal strategies, okay. Uh, let's say make a video on how to start a business in Silicon Valley using Marina's personal story and some useful. So see, it created the whole script for me, starting with my story, which is correct. No hallucinating here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then it created a plan with how to start a business and useful apps for startups. And I like how it actually structures everything. This is the thing I like the most about perplexity is the structure that it creates. And I never ask them to create a word by word script. 
I would do a video on some phenomenon, for example, like top business ideas. I would ask them to come up with like 50 ideas and I would select 10 and make a video uh, because I only want to talk about things that resonate with me or like it's a video for a Lingua Marina channel and we're doing some idioms and uh, I would ask my team to create, um, to come up with like 50 idioms and I will just select the ones that I like. The thing is now I can just ask perplexity to come up with all of these things because it gives me ideas on what to talk about and then I create my own script. So I'm saving time here and I'm saving money on my team here. Um, so perplexity is my, like this is the tool I use every single day for everything. And what stands out for me with perplexity here is that it doesn't hallucinate, which is really important. If, especially if you're preparing for like an interview or you're doing some research, you are, well, 99% sure that the information is accurate. Um, it's, but still double check all the time. Okay, let's move on to the next tool. It's called Opus Clip. Now, let me tell you a quick story. I was making shorts in 2021. 2022 was my biggest year. 2023, I kind of got tired of shorts uh, for several reasons. Uh, I think number one is that it was, it became harder and harder to get my millions of views. Uh, because, you know, the dopamine was gone. And uh, in order to create viral videos, I had to do crazy things, which is not my style. So uh, that was not the reason number one. The reason number two, they disabled links. So I couldn't really monetize my shorts. Prior to that, I had a lot of contracts with brands. But it's stupid to be a creator in 2024 and not create short videos because short videos is how you grow. But my editor charges $25 per short video. Now you have a tool where you go and uh, you drop a video link. Now let's take one of my latest Silicon Valley Girl videos. We'll take um, this video, for example, and we'll ask Opus to create videos. And by the way, you get one hour, 30 minutes of Opus clips for free, meaning it's gonna analyze 90 minutes of videos for you for free, and it's gonna come up with shorts. Now, while we're waiting, I'm gonna introduce a couple more AI tools that I love using. Another tool that you've probably heard about, and, uh, and if you haven't, you just have to try it, it's called HeyGen. And HeyGen can do two things for you. It can clone you, <laughs> it can clone your voice, but also in many different languages. So with HeyGen, you can create your AI avatar, and I'm gonna show you mine, and you're gonna be blown away. Karina. Your instant avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. That wasn't me. That was my AI avatar. So what I did, I submitted a video uh, to HeyGen and they generated this AI avatar. So all I have to do now is, um, you know, come up with text or ask AI to come up with text and it's gonna create videos with my voice and in any language. The thing is, I still see it's AI, but it's just a matter of time uh, until this tool becomes even more advanced and we won't be able to tell the difference. Again, kind of scary, and I wonder what's gonna happen to competition on YouTube when everyone is able to create a pretty avatar, like any girl who's gonna teach English, teach German, teach Spanish, teach business in many different languages. I guess there would be filters that will filter AI generated content, maybe not promoted as heavily, maybe not. But the thing is we see how this is developing so fast. Since we started talking about languages, if you are a language learning fan or if you're dealing with multiple languages, I personally recommend DeepL for all of the translations because it's so, so good. I still have a native speaker on my team whenever we translate things, but Deep L is almost 95% accurate. Sometimes it does like weird stuff with translating names or translating slang, but most of the time it actually understands local slang. So Deep L is your next level AI translation tool. If you're a content creator or still thinking about content creation, there is another tool that I suggest you check out. It's called Descript. It's basically an AI video editor. So what you do there is you upload a video it transcribes it, basically gives you text and you do text-based editing. And you edit it by just looking at the text. You can delete ums and you can do that automatically. You can ask Descript to create social media posts for you like on X and LinkedIn. It will create posts for you. Awesome tool if you are editing by yourself. And the last but not least, Captions AI. Captions has free voiceover tool and it can generate voice that is very similar to you. And another tool that I like 
is called eye contact. Let me show you how it works. So here's a video of me looking. See, I'm looking somewhere else. Now we're going to do effects. We're going to do eye contact. We're going to apply. See, it's a little bit weird, but it can save you time, especially if sometimes you have to read something from a script. And let's take a look at the clips that Opus has recorded for us. So it basically created 23 options for me and it rated them. And so what I encourage everybody do, to do is calculate your F number. You close your eyes. Love it. You think about my perfect year. And how much money would you spend in your perfect year to live in that house you want to live in or that place you want to live in that you get to travel the way you want to travel and you get to eat the type of food you want? I love it. I think it's great. So this one, yes. So basically with Opus, every fifth video is good. The rest is not too good, but it's better than me telling my editor to re-edit and re-edit. It sucks the moments in your long form video and creates pieces that it thinks are going to be good for your shorts. We're actually going to use these on this channel. So come back in two or three weeks to see how they're performing. I am not expecting them to get millions of views because I know I wasn't creating content for short specifically, but this is an easy way to get 20,000 views, maybe 30,000 views, maybe a hundred K views. And, uh, I think it's better than doing nothing. And this is going to drive traffic to my long form as well, because I'm going to link it there. And of course, I'm going to use it on Reels on Instagram and on TikTok as well. Multi-platform, multi-format has never been easier. Thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I really enjoyed showing you AI tools that I'm using and hopefully you are going to be using them too, making your life easier and more productive. See you soon. Please share this video with your friends and see you soon on Silicon Valley Girl. Bye.